Hey docs, how's it going? With you is Dr. V and I hope you're having a wonderful day because I am. The weather is fantastic in Toronto, 9 degrees Celsius, a little bit cloudy but nevertheless a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere for a video. So today we will be having our third video of the myth busting season and the topic is whether exercising in the winter time is good or bad for us. Let's begin our discussion. So let's say we're exercising, we're jogging around somewhere. Let's say we're in a humid environment. Now our body is composed of water and as a method for releasing heat, our body sweats. In a very humid environment, it is difficult to sweat because the humidity inside is very similar to the humidity in the atmosphere. That is why sweat has a very difficult time in escaping from our body. Then, if we take a look at a non-humid environment, which is the winter time, humidity is very low in the atmosphere, so sweat can easily escape from our body. That is why it is much easier to recover during the winter time as compared to the summer time. What is this? I see something moving. Ah, oh, it's a squirrel. Great. Bon appetit, squirrel. Do you remember the last time when you drank a cup of hot chocolate in the winter? Mmm. Or when you felt so tired on that late Friday evening and your favorite TV show was on. Those events have probably brought you a lot of happiness and also they raised your endorphin levels. So what are endorphins? Endorphins are neurochemicals created by our body which make us feel happy. And also, this applies to exercise. When we exercise, exercise may act as a motivation, it may act as a stress reliever, and especially when you do it outdoors, it just makes your endorphin levels spike. For people like I, who love to exercise outdoors, and who loves to do videos for you guys, it brings me so much joy. For the calorie trackers out there, Exercising in the winter burns much more calories than exercising in the summer. Why? Well, your body uses additional calories for maintaining your body temperature aside from the exercise itself. If you have been running for say 10 minutes and you feel like you're running out of breath, try this technique. Breathe in through your nose one time, so like one deep breath, and then breathe out through your mouth, three rapid breaths. Well, I would like to thank everybody for watching. If uh, you have not subscribed yet, do join the Doc Nation. It is a wonderful community and our numbers are growing. If you are already a Doc member, be sure to suggest what videos you want to be seen in the next episode. As for now, if you want to see Dr. V run until he's exhausted and collapses, continue watching this video. If not, I wish you a great week and hope to see you on my next video. Thank you guys, you're awesome, stay awesome, docs, stay healthy as always. Stay healthy, Docs.